Ladies and gentlemen, the game is finally here. The time has finally come. It's finally time for the sequel to the game that truly started the greatness of Double Fine Studios. And I am going to have an absolute blast with this. Yeah, this is a pretty standard warning. I mean, <laughs> let's be let's be fair. The previous game was kind of psychotic, as the title would suggest. And this one is going to be even worse, and I can't wait to see where it goes. Dear True Psychic Tales magazine, it's me again, Rasputin Aquato. I know I write a lot, and you haven't printed any of my True Psychic submissions so far, but this one's different. This one's true. I just helped rescue Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the Psychonauts. Oh, they're and directly addressing the VR game. My girlfriend. Although the term is still very fresh and might need fact checking before we go to print. There was a kiss, but. Okay, I'm already getting off track. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up in the circus. The Aquato family circus. You know, actually, I completely forgot that. His we last name was Aquato. And, uh... Considering what's going on with the obvious villain of this... Like... I'm sorry, but is the villain his own grandmother? After a show, a mysterious stranger handed me a brochure for Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. A training facility for psychic kids, operated by the International Espionage Agency we all know as bum, 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 the Psychonauts. <laughs> I ran away from home that night. When I got to Whispering Rock, oh, they're still the using that bit of his backstory campus. from the fucking vault. Superstar secret agent Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello taught me levitation and psi blast. I learned pyro and telekinesis from Ford Cruller himself. He was all over camp, literally all over, due to his ability to teleport. He even took up psychic oh. residence in my head, which I could prove to you if you had a piece of bacon. Needless to say, things... Okay, I didn't know he could teleport. The That's fucking cool. The was that the head coach of the camp was stealing campers' brains and putting them inside armored death tanks that I guess he was going to use to take over the world or something. I went into his mind and found out he just had some issues with his father. I mean... Who doesn't, right? Now he's okay. Not great, but okay. Just as Ford Kreller was making me an honorary psychonaut for all my hard work, word came in that Truman Zanotto had been kidnapped. So my fellow And then the VR game happens, and that's a fucking acid trip and a half. search led us to an abandoned underwater outpost of the psychonauts in a dangerous part of the ocean, known as the Rhombus of Ruin. We found Truman there, held captive by Dr. Lobato, unlicensed dentist and amateur brain surgeon. We freed Grand Head Zanotto, but he's got Silarium poisoning and can't tell us what happened. We know Lobato wasn't acting alone, but he won't tell us who hired him to kidnap Truman. Agent Nine has an idea how to get the information, using an elaborate psychic construction implanted in Lobato's mind. It's risky, but... That's just a way of life when you're a psychonaut. If I don't make it back, I really hope you consider publishing my letter. And also, please consider the sample layout and illustrations I included. Well, I better get my head in the right place. The mission is about to begin. Okay, that's a really good recap. Here we go. Oh, that's cool. Let's dive in. Three days ago, Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the Psychonauts, was kidnapped. 
yesterday, with my help, the Psychonauts rescued Truman from the underwater lair of Dr. Lobato. But trust me, there's no way Lobato is working alone. Today, we're on a mission. Find out who hired Ooh. Dr. Lobato to kidnap Truman Zanotto. That's a cool my transition. Name is Raz. And today is my first official day on the job. And he's going to be bored to death in the cubicle. Psychonauts headquarters all my life. I just thought it would be more, you know? Come on, we're going to be late for the morale corral. Okay, that sounds like some standard workplace bullshittery. And he's going to do everything he can to end up kicked out of that That's cubicle and put into 100% field work. The 900% this quarter. That's right. Thank you. And that brings us to our next topic. Uh, Sasha, still have the talking turtle? Oh my god, it's fucking oh, Pokey Lopes from the first game. Sorry. That's I great. I just like the clapping. It's now time to give out the award for Employee of the Year. The prize for this year's award is an all-expenses-paid tropical vacation. Ooh. Oh, I hope it's me. The winner of you this award tried taking over the world. Maybe one of our newest members, but he's also one of our most improved. Congratulations to Caligosto Loboto. Wait, what? what? He's actually been hired. Cal. You're gonna love this vacation package. I'm jealous. I, I've never won anything. Oh, been on a vacation. I don't have to go on a boat, do I? No, darling. Woo. All you need to do is get this vacation request approved by your supervisor. What? Just a formality. You just need to get this form signed by your boss. Oh, boss? this isn't actually yes, happening. Darling. This is... Or you could just tell us who your boss is and we could... This yeah. is... All in his head, and it's part of an interrogation method. After all. In fact, I won it. I'm employee of the year. Yes, you are, darling. Now off you go. Get that form signed by your boss. The person who hired you. The person you work for. This is actually okay. pretty brilliant. Hurry up, before I take that vacation myself. Rasputin. I'm on him. Keep up with him, Raz, and he'll lead you straight to his boss. You guys stay here. I'm on it. I am a typical Psychonauts employee. Huh? Okay. Yep, they don't have anything to actually say. Her. They're all figments. Time for the morale corral. Right. So how long have you worked here? I have worked here from one to three years. Hmm. Yep. So how long have you worked here? I have Oops. worked here from one to three Wrong years. Wrong person. Hmm. Why am I talking to you? I need to follow Lobato. I am fairly compensated for my work. Really? We'll try to head him off. Be careful, darling. Yeah, they're all standard figments, all very, very bland. Stay close to him, Raz. But don't freak him out. Never to act casual. I am acting casual. What's that? I said, I love Casual Friday. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Attention, the tooth is loose. So lose him, Raz. Think he suspects anything? Rasputin. Stop dawdling. Right.
Uh-oh. What is it? I think he suspects something. He's taking countermeasures. Just remember your basic writing, soldier. Right. Yep. Are you following me? Ah, it's good to get into you some of the action. Me. This was all a trick. I'm not employee of the year. I'm the greatest dentist of our century. All agents, the tooth has gone bad. Repeat, the tooth has gone bad. Maintain pursuit, Rusty. We are in position to intercept. Roger. All right, so we've got the illusion breaking down. And I'm definitely going to break everything I can to find every possible secret. Looking for me? Well, come and get me. Oh. Okay, he's actively manipulating his mind. Oh, you cocky little dickbag. I don't think you understand the gravity of the situation you're in. <laughs> oh, you little shit. Watch out! Hey, you're not supposed to walk that way. Posters! Oh. Ooh, wall jumps, nice. We did see pretty clearly in the trailers that this game was going to get a lot more acrobatic. But we've got him cornered this way. Hurry! We can't let him shake us. Now, before the procedure, it's very important that we clean out your dentist's hat. You don't want any dirty. Go away! Okay, completely out of the office illusion. And he's pinned. Ow. Oh, and now you've got the traditional figments from the first game. Get this giant tooth off of me! Okay. Coach, there were no teeth in Sasha's plan. That's what I told him. But he's all no weapons, Molly. Yep. Lots of figments of Roboto's imagination. He tried a bit see a figment, it too up. hard. Great job following orders, Private. You go on ahead. I'll take up the rear guard. I thought the big tooth was upsetting. Well, let's soldier through, Private. Unzip that dental door. Okay. Good job. That's soldier. freaky. What's that light? Uh oh. Zip it back up again. Zip it. Ah! Yeah. Now that your cap is clean, let's check out those choppers. Hmm. If I didn't know better, I'd swear this place had gremlins. No problem. I'm sure I can do this in the dark. Uh... Coach, this room is definitely not in Sasha's plan. In fact, I think it's a trap. Oh, there's a sensor gate. That's just okay, a sensor. then. Everybody has those. You live in your mind and stamp out things that don't belong. Like us? You handle this one. I'll find a way out. You've become quite the bitch since you got your ass kicked in game one.
Okay, they died faster than I expected. Just have to do your thing with the dental door here. Ugh. I can't even look at it. You was a little bitch. Okay, there's got to be a couple of Easter eggs hidden around a room this big. Okay, let's see. That painting is a little disturbing. One of them is reminding me of Night in the Woods. Snitches <laughs> get stitches. God damn it. Okay. There's got to be something of interest on one of those post-it notes. But I can't read any of it from here. Damn it. And he's got a massive painting of himself. And we can't Mario it. Damn. And there's definitely... Oh, there's a vault hidden back here. I was wondering how fast we find one of these. Enhancement under the sea. Really? Wait. Hey, there's Mr. Pokeloves again. Okay, so she was definitely working with him. And it looks like the same person that hired him also gave Raz the brochure. Oh. Okay, that's some real conspiracy bullshit going on there. And of course he made his fishman experiments that served him at that base. Yep. Okay. Well, I've got a much better idea of what the fuck is going on with him now. Ooh, can I break this? I cannot break the scanner. Damn. Okay, the platforming is definitely vastly improved. And we've got an emotional baggage tag already. Okay. Just need to actually find the baggage. Knowing this game, I probably won't find it for a while. Although, for some reason, I swear I can already hear it nearby. I definitely can hear it nearby. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. And this office is just full of floating chairs. Okay, then. Moving on. Hey, see what you can find that way. See you on the other side. It looks like some sort of conference room in here. Rasputin, is that you? I need... Oof. I'm coming, Sasha. Oh, Sasha's trapped in here, too. Rasputin, and another bag. It's a... Aha! Here's the hat box, Dad. Uh, a trap. It's a trap. Lobato has... Oof. Stupid cow. Someone is helping him. Thank you, Rasputin. Please, let's get clear of this aggressive uvula. Sasha... How is Lobato breaking through the office construct? He couldn't be doing this on his own. He must be getting help from someone even more... ...sinister. Get ready, Rasputin. Okay, so there's definitely going to be enemies that are, uh... 
heavily inspired Sasha. by the mind you're in. I, ooh, I've got the situation on our control. No, you don't. Just find us a way out of here quickly. Yeah, don't bother with them, little mooks. You want to go for the gold. You got to grab the big boys. Help me carry this one, will you, Frankie? Okay. Oh, and he's just gone. I can't even attempt Sasha, to rescue him. Where'd you go? Oh man, I need to find that exit. Looks like those guys are going to be relying on me a lot. As to be expected, they're side characters in a video game about a child main character. The adults are always useless. Oof, okay, uh, the gold surface is slippery. Oh, that's why I can't get on it. I gotta blast him. I can't believe ah, they got me too, Frankie. The mooks. Why the fuck are they obvious like mobsters? That really doesn't make much sense. Wait. Are you serious? There's just a sign for a boss nearby. Motherfucker. Did you even brush before you came in here today? Honestly, it's a mess in there. Here, rinse and spit. Long. And we're flushed back to the start. Oh no. Not back in the trap. Trap? Coach? Coach, where'd he go? Oh, well, that's a good sign. What is it? That is a regret. If Lobato has regrets, then maybe there's a way we can still get to him. Let's get out of here and find Lobato. Uh, Sasha? <gasps> Are regrets dangerous? Oh yes, extremely. Take care of that one, will you, while I find an exit? Oh, of course. <laughs> Destroying them with their own weight. Yeah, that makes sense for a strategy against a regret. Oh, so I've got straight up air combat and locking onto an enemy in the air will just drag me psychically toward them. I'm actually using telekinesis to throw myself at them. I died in the process because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing, but it's pretty cool. Ah, good, we can skip cutscenes. Okay, that worked. Unfortunately, I can't find a way out of here anywhere. Uh, Sasha? How long has that golden door been there? Golden what? Did somebody say gold? Frankie, here's our chance for revenge! Oh, not these guys. I'll keep looking. Watch out! This out again! I'm coming to see you, ma! Rasputin. You see what you can find through that door. I'm going to stay here and attempt to repair my construct. They're way too wrapped up in their own methods, and it's making them completely ineffectual.
Oh, this is not getting easy. Raz! Is that you? Come down here! Lily, I'm coming! <sighs> yeah, go and save your girlfriend, Raz. Oh shit, water. Still got that water phobia, huh? It's not a phobia, it's a curse. Back in Grulovia, my whole family was cursed to die in water. And Yeah, yeah, super sad. Look at these posters. Really? I think someone else planted these in Lobato's mind to intimidate him. Wait. And make sure all the mob references that don't be a rat kidnap your dad. poster. Okay, so he's got all of these psychic messages left in his head. Ooh, looks like you found an even bigger room. I'm gonna catch up to Lobato. Okay, I'll catch up after I make sure these posters are all burnt. Nope, I'll get him. She's watching. Okay. That helps to confirm some of my theories. Even though they're not real. And I can't reach that one. I can't target them, so literally nothing I can do about it. I don't know what happens if I try to burn her. Ah, fire! It hurts! Help me! Really? <laughs> okay, that's great. Okay, so that's definitely the eyes of the woman behind all of this. Oh. Okay, I can get them. If I just jump. Almost. Ah. The recharge time on it is terrible. Yep. That got it. All of them are gone. Oh. This is looking pretty bad if there's this much of this message here. He's, uh... He's got some serious psychic programming going on. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to know who hired you to kidnap Truman Zanotto. He's terrified of whoever. Yeah. He's terrified of whoever hired him. Hmm. Sounds like there's some emotional baggage nearby. I should try to get that sorted. Oh. Yes, I know what's up with that. And it's tucked back here. I've already got the hatbox tag. Level one is going quite smoothly. Mm. There's more and more water showing up in his mind. We only know one character that's deeply tied to water. Villain of all this. Hmm. 
really big posters consistently hide stuff, so I gotta make sure to burn every one of them. more emotional baggage up there, but I don't have a tag for that one. Crap. Yeah, he just actively admitted that he's protecting that himself. Yep. I need the purse tag here. Yeah, I don't have it. I have no idea where the hell it is. Definitely completely lost out on that Mommy. box. Doesn't matter. Listen, we all have our doubts and regrets, but it's too late to turn back now. Understand? What we have to do now is finish the extraction. Lily, I think Lobato is starting to have doubts. Duh, they're right over there. Oh, yeah. Luckily, they're highly flammable. You take care of them while I find a way out, okay? She is way too excited about burning shit. So I was wondering when some form of currency would get involved. Ah, shit. Too many enemies at once. Okay, so this central room just keeps changing more and more every time we come back. I'm burning this guy. Wait, wait. I'll tell you. Uh, yes? The person who hired me was no one. No one hired me. See, it definitely looks like more and more of his own mindscape is consuming the construction. And... Now my health is full. Good. Oh boy. I was trapped. Darling? Nothing. Did you forget everything I taught you about levitation, Rasputin? Yes, he no. did. Your thoughts can lift you up if you focus. Better mm. hurry before we hit the ground. There you go. Woo -hoo. Now let's get out of here. Ah, I yeah, they nerfed the hell out of that. Yes. Wait, help Lobato. Someone really did a What Sai had to say was definitely true. I think he wants to tell us who hired him. I mean, I'm not too surprised. 
with all of the new acrobatic platforming elements that were added to this, I'm not really surprised that uh, Levitation got nerfed. Tags nearby. Don't forget to float, darling. I don't think this can float me all the way over there. I can definitely get this one though. First tag. And got that. I definitely can't make it over there. And I forgot about my arm. Ugh. I'm actually up before my alarm to record this, so of course it goes off in the middle of the recording. Okay, we got another fight over there. Look how full of that poor calico story is. Nope. I'll admit, teleporting through slime puddles is an interesting mechanic. Definitely not something I've seen an enemy do in a long while. Well, that does have me thinking we need more games where the protagonist plays like a villain. sure I get every figment I possibly can. Yep. Mia, the mission is falling apart. We've lost control of Lobato. There's a little chaos on every mission, Raz. A psychonaut must always remember how to roll with it. You remember how to gather your thoughts and roll with them, right? Ah, we're about to get a little pinball segment down there. Oh shit. And I completely lost control of it. <laughs> of course I did. And it looks like we will have to return to these levels to use powers we haven't unlocked yet. Because that is definitely something I haven't unlocked yet. Not to mention there's two tags in this area. One thing I completely missed earlier. Oh. Time to go. Oh, geez. Gonna be easy to miss shit in here. Oh, boy. She's been dementistrated. Sasha? Coach? Yeah, everybody else Lily? has already been removed from his head. Oh no. Suitcase tag. Gotcha. Oh. 
shit. It's gonna take me a while to get used to this platforming. I actually haven't played a slower platformer in a while. The suitcase is over there, but I don't have the power to get to it, so there's definitely going to be backtracking later. To do again. It's him! I've got to stop him! Oh, jeez. just about to the end of this, it looks like. <sighs> and I fall again. I couldn't tell there was a gap between those teeth. That is definitely the tower from the first game. I put the old egg in the box and the basket in the egg. Ah! No, no, no! I put the egg in the box Oh, he's definitely going crazy. Hmm. Oh, there she is. In the basket, in the basket in the ocean. No, no, that's not it. Put the old box in the basket and the egg in the ocean. You put the egg in the basket and the old egg in the box and the box in the ocean. <laughs> Simple. And if you tell anyone about me, anyone at all, you'll have to deal with her. No, not her. Please don't make me look at her again. No, no, I won't tell. I won't tell anyone. I promise. No, please. Ah! And there she is. <laughs> the water witch has arrived. Okay. Oh, so this whole thing still happened on the plane on the way back to base. Holy shit. That bozo's brain was booby trapped. Yes, whoever hired Lobato to kidnap Truman knew he might be psychically interrogated. The poor thing looks terrified. Did anyone get a good look at his boss? I saw him, but I couldn't tell who he was. And I saw... something else. I saw the thing that terrified Lobato. It was... a woman, dressed in black fur. She was floating over the ruins of a city, and she was commanding serpents of... water. There was something familiar about her. Rasputin, I'm going to show you a picture. Yep. That's her! Wait a second. I thought I recognized her. True Psychic Tales, issue 43. She's on the cover. Maligula. The Deluge of Grulovia. Maligula? She's been dead for 20 years! 
Fort Crawler killed her himself. A battle from which he never truly recovered. She ah, so I was right. She was the one that broke his brain. Power hungry psychic who drowned hundreds of her own countrymen. Nevertheless, she still has her loyal followers to this day. This file documents recent activity believed to be the work of these modern day delusionaries. What are they up to? Okay, that's a wonderful pun. Well, it's ridiculous, really. There's no scientific basis to necromancy. What? They're trying to bring her back to life? It's silly, darling, but if they believe they can do it, they might do some dangerous things. Mia, have you considered the other disturbing fact in all of this? That unstable character. Could Bring never it. kidnap the grand head Get of the lost. Psychonauts without help? Yes. You mean... There's a mole in the Psychonauts. You think this is a mole? You're dumber than you look. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Finally he woke up. Still, we already have one character standing right next to Raz, who could have been the mole, but we've already been pretty deep in his head. Agent Forsyth, why did you deny us intel when we hailed the Motherlobe? What are you talking about, Agent Nine? We were on a mission to rescue the Grand Head of the Psychonauts. When we called for assistance... I never heard any call. Who did you talk to? Is he all right? We won't know for sure until we get that squirrel tested for rabies. This is our kidnapper. Clearly, he had help on the inside. Impossible. A mole in the Psychonauts? We have reason to believe delusionists are involved. And they're trying to bring back Maligula. What? I know. Isn't it great? The Psychonauts haven't had this kind of a threat in years. Can someone help me with my dad? He's still acting funny. Yeah, he's Truman. still practically comatose. Let's get him inside so he can lie down. I'll see what I can find out in my meditation chamber. I'm taking Lobato to my office for further interrogation. I'm gonna talk to Otto about our military options. Does that make anyone else a little nervous? Who are you? I'm Raz. Uh, Rasputin? I'm, uh, your newest psychonaut? How's that? It's right, because they didn't get any that. of the uh, I've been kinda helping out. contacts from Listen, the camp. Agent Kroller is a hero, but he's not operating at 100%. He can hand out all the merit badges he wants, but he doesn't have the authority to commission psychonauts. But you can, right? You're Hollis Forsythe, lesser head of the psychonauts? True Psychic Tales 146. You and Truman fought the Noodler together. I prefer the title, Second Head. If the other agents vouch for you, I might be able to get you a spot. Okay, so episode two is going to be getting his official In the badge. Intern program. But don't be late for orientation. I hear the coordinator's a real brain buster. Welcome to the Mother Lobe. Okay. For now, we finished the first level and arrived at the main hub of the game. So, this will be it for episode one. I've got to stop here, immediately edit and upload, and then I'll be back for episode two quite swiftly. I'll be uploading this two times a week. I'll be alternating between Wednesday, Thursday and Tuesday, Thursday. Because for a while I'm going to be using this to replace Terraria while I try and get ahead because I have a lot of building to do. So, for now, this is Envoy of Kairos signing out. And I'll see all of you again very soon. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. 
And if you're looking to support me a little further, you know, maybe get some bonus content, or just keep up with me and other fans, you can find links down in the description leading to my Patreon, my Discord, and my Twitter. And, you know, if you're following me on Patreon, then you can expect some content polls to decide what's coming up on the channel yet. A little bit of, uh, background additions to some other series I've been working on, you know, some more original and creative stuff. And who knows, if enough of you start supporting me soon, I might have a few other surprises up my sleeve too. Again, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all again on the next video.